hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we will be starting up a new series about spring core so in this tutorial series we will learn about spring so first we will learn spring core with use of xml based configurations and moving onwards we will be doing annotations and configuration along with it so first we will be making use of spring as i will be creating a java project and i will not be creating any maven based project or any spring boot based project so i will be externally exporting my hr spring core chars uh, which i will be downloading from spring repo so i'll be showing up how we can download these spring chars and how we can externally add our spring based chars or any java based libraries in our ID, so we can use any IDA of our choice, be it Eclipse, Spring Tool Suit, or IntelliJ. So I'll be using STS Spring Tool Suit for my Spring based development, and I'll be creating a plain old Java project, core Java project, you can say, or plain simple Java project in which I'll be exporting my jars and creating plain old Pojo classes, and where I'll be using all those libraries okay so i'll be also creating an xml configuration files where i'll be defining my beans and all other properties auto wiring those beans from xml only okay so moving forward we'll be seeing how those annotation works and external internally how those annotations work okay so we'll be starting doing things from code not doing directly from spring boot where all those things have been auto configured internally okay and in spring boot most of you if you have worked on you know that spring boot does auto configuration and in background we don't have to you know configure anything we just need to write annotation and all those things have been done internally okay so for this first we will need to know about spring like what's what's spring and what's the purpose of using this so earlier before spring for java double e development or developing a java double e application we are making use of servlets, JSV, or this one Liferay framework, uh, making use of portlets in it, just like the servlet, portlets are the same. So we are also making use of EJB's enterprise Java beans of making developing a Java double E applications, or there is struts framework. Okay, so why using Spring? Because in EJB's or struts uh, are modules which we are developing in those frameworks those are actually tightly coupled and developing all those things we need to you know dependency all those modules suppose if i have to use making use of class a and making use of class b also then c needs to be tightly coupled with a so all those things are tightly coupled in it but the spring framework as you know it's an open source application framework so it provides infrastructure support for developing java application and spring is an open source application framework okay so that provides us the infrastructure to develop java web application double e application and it's one of the most popular java double e frameworks in the market right now so it helps us to create high performing applications and it was developed by rod johansson in 2003 so it makes easy development of java double e application we can see there are many modules inside it so we can develop web application we can develop double e application so the modules that are core module it contains beans core context aop aspects in it messaging there is one test framework here it test module contains there is one web module in which it helps us in creating mvc based application there is one data access framework that helps us in you know managing the db layer dao layer and transactions inside it so spring is a lightweight framework it can be thought of as a framework of frameworks because it provides supports to various frameworks such as if you are working with struts hibernate ejbs jsf okay so it consists of several modules which i already told you aop ioc inversion of control db layer context orm web mvc so we'll learn moving forward about all those modules okay so why spring framework because it's a powerful lightweight framework open source use for application development there are many important aspects of spring being a lightweight framework provides a aspect oriented program we will learn about aop 
in next videos transaction management spring provides spring provides a containers in spring boot we don't need to externally add any web container or web server spring itself provides us embedded tomcat web server we can you know change to jetty or any web server of our choice but it provides the embedded web server dependency injection is a feature through which spring became a popular integration with other frameworks we can do so okay so these are all those features by which spring became popular and powerful and why it's a lightweight framework okay so in previous application we can uh, i told you like those are tightly coupled and spring all those modules we make use of different modules using dependency injections okay so going forward let us first download the spring web charts sorry spring charts not web charts and we'll be exporting in my sts so we'll learn about it so first how we can create a basic spring project or how to set up a project for spring code uh, we'll need to first download and export the spring jars so you can open any web server web browser sorry and you just need to search for spring framework jars so i'll have the url i can also provide you that i'll be just copying this same url where spring resides all the jars in this repo i'll be providing this url in the video description so you can directly copy paste into your browser and download spring jars okay so we can see a list of spring versions here listed out versions here with the chart so i'm just going to download the latest one i'm just going to download the 5.3.9 and i'm going to download the dist zip okay so this has been downloaded let's go to finder okay it's still downloaded just few seconds remaining so our zip has been downloaded so i'm just going to copy paste it to my workspace folder and i'll be opening my id so i'll be using sts you can also use eclipse or any id of your choice so i'll be creating a simple java project as i've already told you so i'll be name it as first spring project so today we will be setting up only spring project jar so the basic requirements are you need to download and install sts you need to also configure java jdk also so for both of these i have already made a video so you can go to my channel and watch how to download sts to your machine so after downloading and installing sts you need to download the spring framework charts and you need to create a basic spring projects a basic spring java project no need to create any spring mvc or boot project we just need to create a plain simple java project and in this i'm just going to add the external charts so by going to properties java build path inside module path i'll be creating a library for spring a user library so in moving forward in all those spring project we will be using this library spring lips okay add external charts and inside workspace okay let me also extract this and i'll be selecting all these charts apply and close finish we have selected our spring lips apply and close and we can see our spring lip has been imported here so in this way we will be exporting our spring library 
or jars inside our project and now we can make use of spring so in next tutorial we will learn about spring ioc and spring dependency injection the main features of spring and then we will see how we can create a basic spring core project with making use of xml configuration file so in xml config we will define our beans and we'll create basic pojos so in next tutorial we will learn what is spring ioc and spring dependencies so for today that's it thank you guys